guys, me, your host, Super Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. This is the House of a Thousand Corpses. And this is Captain Spaulding, played by Sid Haig. And this is the NECA clothed action figure, eight inches tall. And it's got the fully cloth outfit on this one. And it's, it is awesome. I've had this for a little while now. I got it from Forbidden Planet for £55. Sorry, fourth, sorry, five seven nine nine. Um, I got this from Forbidden Planet a little while ago. Uh, before the death of Sid Haig, actually. Um, ever since he passed away, these things have been going up in price. And I've kept mine sh in, its, in its packaging and stuff because of that. But I'm thinking to myself, I'm never going to get rid of it. So I'm going to open him. Um, just because it's, it's Captain Spaulding, man. I'm never going to get rid of this. I, I was I was dying to get a hold of this beforehand because he was he was at Horicon and we got to meet the man. He was a very nice gentleman. He was so cool. And then he was meant to... He didn't come in 2000... I'm trying to think the years now. So basically, when he went the first year we did Horicon and we met him and we saw his, we saw his Q&A and stuff like that and he was a lot of fun, he was a nice guy but I didn't have anything for him to sign the pop vinyls that they were selling of Captain Spaulding were like 100 quid each, it was ridiculous so I ended up going uh, out after the show and picking one of these up because he said that he was, the, the, the said that he was going to be coming back and he, he, wasn't, he didn't actually come the year after but it was the year after that he was meant to come and sadly he passed away uh, so I had this ready for him to sign and I never got around to getting him to sign it for me um, so I feel like I'm going to open it because I love this film so much and I love Captain Spaulding as a character I don't want him just sat in a little plastic prison I want to play with him and relive some memories so I'm going to open this bad, bu this bad boy up today and we're going to take a look inside so there's a nice artist rendering on the back of the packaging first of all with a nice write up which states House of Thousand Corpses two young couples take a misguided tour onto the back roads of America in search of a local legend known as Dr. Satan Lost and stranded, they are set upon by a bizarre family of psychotic murder, cannibalistic and satanist rituals are uh, just a few of the thousand horrors that await them. Awesome. Can't believe that House of Thousand Corpses was 2003 now. Oh my god. Obviously, like most young lads, I was, uh, I was in it for Sherry Moon Zombie <laughs> and her portrayal of uh, Baby Firefly. Now they have just done the, the the third and final movie, I think it's the final movie, uh, From Hell, which Sid Haig actually sadly passed away during the filming of, I believe. But he's not, he's not in the film very long. I'm not sure if that's due to whether he, I think he might, did he pass away during the filming of it or anything like that, but I knew, I knew he was, he was struggling with cancer, wasn't he, so. That's probably why. Right, so this figure uh, comes with the little bag, which I believe is that is that his bag of fried chicken, I believe. Should try my fried chicken. And it comes with his other hands as well. She's got a spare set of hands on this thing. Where's the scissors going in my drawer? Yeah, I was introduced to House of Thousand Corpses by a friend. It wasn't my it, would, it wouldn't have normally been my cup of tea, should we say. But I was a big I was a big fan of Rob Zombie's music, but I had no idea that that film existed. So I came into it pretty late. And I was introduced to it by a friend. And uh, it became one of my one of, one of my most favorite favorite movies because of because of the Captain Spaulding character. The clamshells were so sharp. Always watch out for them. Right. Oh, I've cut my finger on that. My only issue is he doesn't come with a gun and a gun hand because obviously he has that really big pistol. But he never, we never see him. Um, sorry, we never actually get a version of the figure with that. I don't think. There 
we go. Okay. Right, I found where the little joints are. There they are. Right. Because I would love to have... It doesn't come with his little hat either. So I'd love to have the little hat. Because... Come on, you, you know you want to put his foot on someone's chest and have him pointing the gun down. Because that was the most iconic part of that beginning of that movie. And most of all... You... <laughs> Yeah, this is the most iconic part of that film. So here he is. That likeness to Sid Haig is amazing. That is absolutely immense. Love how they've captured that. So good. And he's got uh, he's got the love and hate tattoos on his hands as well, which is pretty nice. Um, them hands won't grip a gun, which is a shame. Cause they're quite big, open palm hands. Uh, but you can put his... Can sort of put the chicken packet in his hand if you wanted to. Even that, even that, he's struggling to hold that. Yeah, I have to kind of do it. So I've dropped it already. It's gone. <laughs> yeah, those big open palm hands are going to struggle to do anything. I'm not sure if we'll have another eight-inch necker figure that would have a gun hand that we could swap out with as plain handers. It's a real shame. I'm trying to work out how he could even hold that bag of chicken. I think it's meant to be the chicken anyway. Yeah. Try and put it in one of those hands and just have him hold it like that, really. So I probably won't use that accessory. Uh, I'm not going to have these hands on anyway. I will be having the other hands on. So I'm going to quickly change out the hands because I want the other set of hands on. They're more fun. Quickly change those over before we go further. Ow. There we go, one. You have to push them till the click. Now a lot of people, with because these are the hands that have got the flip of the bird and a lot of people, when I've watched reviews, have him displayed like this, holding them up. Like that. And that's actually incorrect. That is not how it's meant to, how it's, how, how it's meant to be. He's meant to have them like that. Because that's the bit from the very beginning of the movie where there's the stick up and they take the mick out of the guy that's sticking them up. And he puts his hands like that. He's flipping them off while he's while he's uh, surrendering basically. Because he's got a gun in his face. And he starts doing the whole, Ep your grandma, Ep your sister. <laughs> so for me, um, I'll be dis I think I'm going to keep him in that display. See how we don't have a gun for him, which is a shame. Um, I, I don't know why they've not included a pistol. The figure itself is so cool, though. So, articulation. Head is on a ball joint, so you can make him look up and down, left and right, and you can sort of tilt that head around as well. The arms do lift up at that top hinge. There's also the single hinged elbow there. There's rotation at the top, rotation at the, hit, at the bicep, and also the hands rock around on, pit, on ball joints. You can crunch him forwards and backwards a little bit. There is a little bit of a there is a crunch under there. Sadly, <laughs> to give him the more rotund look, they have used a fabric underneath to make him fatter. This is basically the same mold under here that they've used with Freddy and Jason in the past. So it's the so it's a skinny body mold underneath. So to give it the impression of Sid Haig's size, they've included a basically a wad of rolled up uh, cloth up there. Which is a real shame, really. But hey ho, it does the job. It's just funny. That goes all the way around him as well. <laughs> um, the legs do lift out, but are hindered a little bit uh, by that bit of, by, by by the pressure from the actual body bit. Uh, you can push forwards, backwards. Uh, there's a top thigh cut, uh, single hinged knees. 
and his feet are on rocker, no pivot. So they just bob back and forth, sorry, they don't rock from side to side. Mine already has a little hole in the back from where that stupid rope tie was on the figure, which is dead annoying. It's put a little hole in the back of the costume now. Not happy about that. I hate when they tie the figures into the packagings. Make it nigh impossible to take it out without breaking it. I even like they've even gone to the detailing of giving him the little skull on his uh, on his bow tie as well. They've even given him blacked out and yellow teeth as well. They've really gone all out with this. I like the fact that the, the makeup's fading and stuff on the on the figure. Yeah, I think my literally my only gripe with this figure is the fact that the lack of a gun hand. So I can't even put a gun in his hand if I wanted to. So, that's my only issue. Whether or not we can kind of custom this hand into one. I don't know. Might have a go at that layer. Come to get Miss <laughs> Right, guys, let's go down to the desk cam to give you guys an up close personal look at this awesome figure. So let's go to the desk cam. Here's our of the packaging looking really cool. I'm loving that face sculpt, it really does capture Sid Haig so well. And the paint apps on it are really nice. It feels like there's life behind those eyes. Um, really liking how they've done the makeup, so it's like fading, especially like the fade job they've done on the head there. It looks like it's been self applied as well. It's not like it's not overly painted like professionally. It looks just like he's done it himself, just like in the film. So I love that look. Very well done. And like I said, even the teeth and stuff, they've blacked out his teeth and where he's done the, the makeup and stuff. So that's really cool. Then, of course, we've got the nice big padded costume with that spongy piece that's keeping it nice and padded for us. Oh, got camera focus issues. There we go. And it's really nice. Like I said, they've even included the little skull there. So that's nice attention to detailing. Other than that, like I said, he's got the hands, which are very cool as well. The alternate hands are over here as well. Very detailed. I like the ins They've got lots of humanoid style qualities, which are nice, like veins and things. And there's a little bag that I can't really get into grip or do much with, but that, that was the accessory he came with. I'm all bummed out that he doesn't come with his hat. I want, him to, I want his little hat. I need his little hat and I needed a gun. That would have made this perfect for me. But still, and this is probably going to be the only Sid Haig figure I'm ever going to probably get because the prices on these things have tripled and quadrupled on the second-hand market. People are charging over £100 for the basic Necker stuff. And those pot vials are selling for stupid money now. So this is probably what I'm. Uh, this is probably the only figure I will probably get from uh, Half Thousand Corpses at this point. Uh, but I, I'm glad I got this one. Like I said, I was hoping to have this actually signed by Sid Haig, uh, but sadly he passed away before I was able to get that done. But it's still one of my favourite films of all time. Like I said, I was introduced to it during, what, well, I think I was about 15, 14, no, 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 about 13, 14 when that came out. Or when I was introduced to it anyway. But guys, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> Well, howdy, folks. It's your old pal, Captain Spaulding, again. Yes, I'm here to tell you about a brand new attraction. Mary, the monkey girl. Oh, yeah. That's right. This here little honey is half real human, half monkey. I brought all the way from the wilds of Borneo. So y'all come in. Make sure you bring little Johnny and Susie with you. She'll scare the holy guacamole out of them. <laughs> and remember, while you're down here, pick up your Captain Spaulding for President T-shirts in all shapes and sizes. Small, medium, large, and jumbo for our big bone friends. Ha <laughs> ha, we all know how you got that way too, huh? Yes, from eating my delicious fried chicken. <laughs> oh yes, just keeps getting better all the time. God bless America, and God bless Captain Spaulding. Ha ha ha! So obviously this figure is the is one of the retro Necker clothes figures, so it is seven inches in scale. So as you can see, he kind of dwarfs Texas Chainsaw Massacre with leather face there, and he definitely outdwarfs the uh, five and three quarter inches version of the of the Marvel Legends zombie. 
uh, the Toy Biz era one, which is a little bit shorter than regular Marvel. I want to use that one anyway, just out of interest, because definitely well out of uh, any form of uh, thing there. He scales well with the seven inch figures, so we're talking uh, the Necker line for clothed figures. We're also talking maybe some McFarlane's DC uh, kind of multiverse stuff, as well as maybe the Super 7 products. They're usually all seven inches in height and diamond select. So you're probably looking to sculpt it as they're using with those kind of characters rather than Marvel Legends and Hasbro products. Not that you would anyway. But yeah, there's even a difference between the regular Neckers and the... Because they're obviously regular Neckers are six inches to seven inches in scale. And I think these are seven to eight inches. There's a little bit of a difference, like an inch difference in height. So there you go. That's how they scale and that's how they look all together. When he stands with uh, with those two though, he looks like he's in perfect company there, doesn't he? <laughs> Just to let you know, you can actually use the other hands from other figures in the line. So, <laughs> I like that. It just looks like uh, Captain Spaulding stolen the ghost faced hand. <laughs> and he looks overly happy with it. <laughs> so, yeah, we can steal another hand from another figure, hopefully, so I can get Captain Spaulding with a gun. So, stay tuned and I'll uh, see what I can do about that. So, guys, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. Are you a fan? Is this one of your like Halloween favourite movies to watch? Let me know in the comments. I watch this hopefully at least at least once every Halloween season if I can. Um, but guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Soupsaw, and I'll see you in the next video. May the force be with you. Bye!